Hello, this is Bob Hilke at VeryHealthyWater.org and TopWaterIonizer.com. Today we're going to show you how to make all of the different types of water with an Agix SD501 Kangen Water Ionizer machine. So let's get started. While we make all the different types of water, we will show the pH using a, t a pH testing kit. We'll collect the water and uh, compare it with the pH chart. As you can see, the water is going through the Enagic SD501 Kangen Water Ionizer. Currently, the setting is on clean water. And we would expect that to be approximately 7.0, but we'll find out. Sure enough, uh, 7.0, which is this green, and that is neutral pH. This is the water that should be used when taking medications. The next water we will demonstrate is making the Enagic, the Kangen water, 8.5. And as you just heard, the machine announces when we change a setting, so you know exactly what water you're making. This water appears to be between the 8.0 and the 9.0, so what we would expect, 8.5. The next water we will make is the 9.0. As you can see, the color is blue, the color of 9.0 on the color chart. The next water we will make is the Kangen Water 9.5. This, of course, is the one that people want to drink. But we recommend people start on the 8.5 and then move up to the 9.0 and then up to the 9.5. And as you can see, the color is right between the 9.0 and the 10.0 on the color chart for a nice solid 9.5. Now while the alkaline water is coming out of the gooseneck, the byproduct is, is acid water. And we'll show that. While we're making 9.5, we'll find out what pH our byproduct water is. And the reason for that is as the water goes through the ionizer machine, water molecules are split into OH- and H+ ions. And the, when we're making Kangen water, the water that has a predominance of OH- comes out of the gooseneck, and that's the alkaline Kangen water that we drink. And the water that has an abundance of the H+, which is acidic, goes through the gray hose. It appears, uh, since we're not drinking this water, we don't really need to know what its pH is necessarily, but it does appear to be uh, quite acidic. If we were to take and, and collect the water from both the, uh, the acid water and the Kangen water and collect all the water that we made from both of those and put it into one container and then test the pH, we would expect it to be the same pH as what comes out of the sink normally without the ionizer. The next water that we will make is the beauty water. And for this we'll slow it down. And beauty water is acidic, usually 5.5, sometimes 6.0. And it's great for washing your face and your hair. As you can see, this water is uh, approximately between 5.0 and 6.0. So and the setting for the machine is 5.5, so that's what we would expect it to be. 
we have now made all of the water that is uh, produced um, for drinking, for medication, and for beauty water, which can also be used for cooking. And now we will make the strong acid water. And for that, uh, we press the orange button. Now the strong acid water will actually come out of the gray hose. So we'll collect that water down here. And by the way, um, I should point out that while we are making the strong acid water, the electrolysis enhancer solution is being used to supplement the electrolysis, or to supplement the electricity. It, it uh, provides some more ions to pr uh, produce a stronger electrolysis. Uh, which is, uh, it enables the machine to achieve the 2.5 easily. So I'm now going to collect the 2.5 water from the gray hose. And as you can see, it's uh, a dark yellow. And our chart really doesn't go down all the way to 2.5. Um, we would have to, to get another uh, testing um, uh, kit to, uh, to show that level of pH. But let's, uh, let's now test the strong alkaline water. And as you can see, it goes off the chart. Um, greater than the, the 10.0, which the chart shows. The 5.5, or excuse me, the, the 2.5, the strong acid water, is used for sanitizing the kitchen, the bathroom, etc. Also, um, it can be used topically to treat uh, skin. Uh, conditions, burns, etc., are apparently uh, often uh, benefited by the use of that water. And as you can see, although it's a strong acid, uh, it's not like hydrochloric acid. It doesn't burn the skin. I, I just uh, ran the water over my hands, and it, it does not hurt at all. Um, so now what we will do, oh, I, was, I should mention also the 11.5 water the strong alkaline or the strong kangen water can be used for other purposes uh, such as uh, removing the pesticides and waxes from fruits and vegetables and also um, there's, there's other uses too but uh, that's probably the most common. So now that we have demonstrated all of the different types of water I will show the automated cleaning uh, cycle and that activates by going back to the Kangen 9.5 after having made the strong acid water. As you can see, the, uh, the panel display is sh showing that the cleaning process is going on. And it will announce once the 9.5 water is again being made. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, that the Kangen water ionizer, the SD501, is running full speed. The tap is wide open, and it is making 9.5. I guess uh, it's really wide open. There we go. And uh, there you can see the, the 9.5. And why don't we just test that after we've made all the water and we're running it wide open just to demonstrate the powerful um, electrolysis capability and ionization capability of the SD501. Even while it is running at full speed, wide open, there it is, 9.5 Kangen water.
That wraps up our demo for how to make all the different types of water using our Enagic SD501 Kangen Water Ionizer. Please be sure to visit our website, topwaterionizer.com, to see demos and other information about the Enagic SD501 Kangen Water Ionizer.